Welcome, Minha. Thank you for joining us on the next episode of Meet the GPP. Mm -hmm. uh, hello, uh, I'm Minha. Uh, I'm a social psychology student in Seoul National University in Korea. I have studied uh, culture and happiness. But these days, I'm mainly interested in morality. So uh, my main research topic is whether more people are happier than immoral people, and whether happier people are more moral than unhappy people. What is your educational background? Uh, <laughs> this is an interesting question. I originally majored in dentistry when I was an undergraduate. Uh, unlike in US, we have a uh, dentistry as an undergraduate major. So I was a dentist previously, but uh, I decided to study social psychology when I was uh, 30 years old. So I entered uh, graduate school. So I worked with uh, Intel Choi, uh, cross-cultural social psychologist in Korea. And I also uh, did my master in uh, University of Virginia previously. I worked with uh, Professor Timothy Wilson and Sige Hiro Oishi previously. Yeah. What's your involvement with the Geography of Philosophy project? Uh, my main role uh, in GPP project is uh, uh, taking charge of uh, the data collection in Korea. That's my main role, but uh, another important role I have in this project is providing my opinions and insights about the study design and uh, stud interpreting the interpretation of study results because I'm an, uh, an expert in Korean culture among the whole GPP people, yeah. Can you tell us a little bit about the Korean populations you work with? Uh, Korean culture is collectivistic culture, so uh, people in collectivistic culture have uh, interdependent self, uh, while uh, people in individualist culture have independent self. People with interdependent self, they define themselves not only uh, with their own characteristics, but also with their law. For example, there is a task which you uh, fill out the blank I am something, I am blank. Victoria, I have a question to you. So I am, you answer, you, you complete the sentence. Happy. Okay, yeah, that's objective. It, it, it states your state, right? Your mood. But many Korean people uh, fill the blank. I am a door. I am a mom. They also feel the blank with this objective or, 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 or other thing, but they many times they feel the blank with their role, social role. See, yeah, I am a Korean person, so we define ourselves uh, not only based on our own characters, but also based on our social role and yeah. Please tell us about the insights you've acquired while doing your research. So it's a little different from what I have experienced as a researcher previously. Translation is really important. For example, one time I received a questionnaire which John lied and John told a lie. In Korean, the translation is the same. So I thought, oh, it's just a mistake. Why two choice options exist the same? This is just mistakes. Later I asked about these options to the study reader, and I realized it's not a mistake. So told the lie was a kind of transmitted a lie without knowing it was a lie. That's the original meaning. That's what I heard. And, and then lied means really lied intentionally. That distinction doesn't exist in Korean word. Of course, we can tell if we explain using several sentences, multiple sentences, but told a lie and lied, no way. So Thank you so much, Minha, for taking the time to meet with us. 